Four fellows from Code for America have arrived in San Francisco. The team has been picked from volunteers consisting of social scientists, political scientists, and IT experts. Code for America aims to improve relationships between citizens and government. Technology is an excellent way to make our society inclusive. If we design it well, and we use it as a tool to further social inclusion. And so I'm here today to do my part. The fellows make their way to the job center to meet Jason Welly, who is standing in for the director. He explains how job seekers' data is internally processed. The fellows need details like these to come up with the technological solutions that are highly sought after. Government really in the United States doesn't invest a lot of money in technology and in many ways users such as myself and my staff uh, have to maybe work a little less efficiently than they would ordinarily if they had uh, technological solutions to some of their problems. <laughs> Code for America began three years ago by web specialist Jennifer Palka. She finances the project through sponsorships by companies like Google and Dropbox. Every fellow receives around 26,000 euros for their work. One of the things that you see, uh, here in America at least, is that the interfaces in your daily life now are beautiful and simple and easy to use. Interfaces to government don't always look that way. Uh, and so not only can we do it faster and cheaper, but we can do it better in a way that is more user-friendly, prettier, and just makes you feel like you're part of something that makes sense. Prepare.ly is one of Code for America's projects. It's designed to warn the people of Austin, Texas about forest fires. Users can check the risk status of their house online and are sent texts when a fire is approaching. Adopt a Fire Hydrant allows the citizens of Anchorage, Alaska to do just that. People who adopt a hydrant are responsible for keeping it free of snow. Since 2011, the Code for America Fellows have developed almost 30 applications. They have access to a uh, way of thinking and technical skills and design skills that government doesn't usually hire for. Uh, and frankly, we haven't attracted those kind of people to government. Back at the job center, the team determines that the computers are in need of an upgrade. They check the software that job seekers use to register. They conclude that the method of data processing should be simplified. What we would have loved is actually to get a smart app that directly connects our business partners who employ our clients and our job seekers to where they could work together online to help to identify the job openings that the businesses have and the qualifications and the resumes of our job seekers. I think that by creating opportunities for um, people in government to really um, innovate through technology, you have so many more opportunities to um, to kind of work collaboratively with the residents of their cities or counties or other municipalities. The problem has been identified, and now it's up to the fellows to come up with a solution. The job seekers of San Francisco depend on it. Shift says, put great ideas into motion.